Hello everyone. Now, today we are going to see single plate clutch. So, what do you mean by clutch? Clutch is nothing but it is a device which is basically used to connect the driving plate to the driven plate, means to the driving shaft to the driven shaft. And this clutch, it has been placed in between the flywheel and the power transmission system. So, now we will see what is single plate clutch. So, this is the single plate clutch diagram. In this, this part is attached to the engine shaft, means whatever the shaft which is coming from the output shaft of the engine, it is now connected to this part of the plate clutch. So this will be the input part and this will be the output part. Means this clutch shaft is nothing but the output shaft which is going to the transmission system. Initially, when your vehicle is standstill, so this plate clutch here, uh, it has been in contact with the driving plate. Now suppose if you consider here, this is the driving plate and in this part this is the driven shaft or driven plate. So here with the help of this pressure plate, this uh, clutch plate, so this is the clutch plate. So first of all, we'll see the parts. So this is the flywheel, which means this is the driving part. This is the clutch plate. And here is the friction lining material, which is provided on the outer periphery of this clutch plate. Then in between the clutch plate, this uh, clutch plate, it has been hold by flywheel as well as by the pressure plate. So this is the pressure plate and this pressure plate is exerting pressure on this clutch plate with the help of this spring. So initially when your vehicle is standstill, your this pressure plate makes this clutch plate to come in contact with the flywheel. So initially when your vehicle is standstill, the clutch is in engaged position. Okay. Then when you try to shift the gear position, so here on this clutch pedal, you have to press this clutch pedal so that this pressure plate will move outside and uh, the spring will get compressed. And here the contact of this clutch plate with the flywheel or the driving plate will be removed. So that whatever the input speed will not be going to the output shaft, then you will be changing the gear position. Then afterwards changing the gear position, you have to release this pressure plate smoothly so that this clutch plate will get entirely in contact with the flywheel and the power transmission will be smooth without any jerk. So this is the working of the single plate clutch and mostly the single plate clutch we will be using in commercial vehicles, for example, such as trucks, then also in LMVs such as cars and so on. So this clutch plate is having positivity such as it is having high power transmitting capacity means torque transmitting capacity is maximum. So this type of clutch we will be using in the commercial vehicles. In the next slide, we will see its animation. Vehicles of today normally use clutch to transmit power produced by the engine to the gearbox. The vast majority of cars and motorcycles rely on dry friction clutches, which will be explained in this animation. One of its components is the flywheel. The flywheel is connected to the engine through the crankshaft. The flywheel features external teeth that are used to start the engine of the vehicle. When the car key is turned, the engine is started with the help of a pinion and the battery. After a small amount of time, the engine runs on fuel. The flywheel is equipped with a friction surface. The clutch disc has friction surfaces too. When the friction surface of the flywheel and the friction surface of the clutch disc are brought into contact with each other, the clutch disc rotates. The clutch disc is made of several components, of which the important ones are the hub, which is riveted to the disc with a cover plate, and the friction material installed on both sides. In the past, friction material was made of asbestos and other harmful substances. Today, friction surfaces are made of ceramics and substances that provide a high coefficient of friction. In general, Cars for daily use are equipped with clutches that feature springs to damper shatter to achieve an easy operation 
and to reduce the impact to the gearbox at the engagement. The clutch disc is connected to the gearbox through the gearbox shaft. Consequently, the wheels of the vehicle only rotate when the flywheel is in contact with the clutch disc. The pressure plate is needed for engaging and disengaging the clutch disc. The pressure plate is riveted to the flywheel. As a result, the pressure plate rotates when the flywheel rotates. Let's take a closer look in order to see what happens in this important component. A clutch release bearing is positioned in front of a diaphragm spring. When the release bearing is pushed into the spring, the inner portion of the spring is moved in the direction of the clutch disc, whereas the outer portion of the spring is moved in the other direction. Consequently, the clutch is disengaged because the pressure disc is mounted in a flexible manner to the casing. So, the clutch disc can be locked between the flywheel and the pressure plate when the release bearing is released and it can be released when the bearing is pushed into the diaphragm spring. The mechanical energy produced by the engine is transmitted to the gearbox when the clutch release bearing is released and the clutch disc is engaged. Thank you.